to Jack Ross. In 2019, they published a paper called, or a published um, a work called The Declaration on Sexual Pleasure. Because they're out there trying to make sure that women all over the word, world are, have access to sexual pleasure. Damn. Mm hmm. They're trying, man, that's, uh, I don't think that should go global. I think that should be a state by state thing. <laughs> 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 I don't think we should globally mandate sexual pleasure for women. <laughs> I think we should let states and local <laughs> municipalities decide <laughs> on whether or not women should have access to sexual pleasure. <laughs> it's got to be global. We've got to make it. We've got to give access to all. Like people can take it and do what they want with it, but everybody's got to have access. Yeah. What do you think women are going to do with all this sexual pleasure? Enjoy it. No. Why don't you want your women out there sexually pleased? What are you worried about? Who's going to do it? Well, whoever they ask. They're going to be R. Kelly. They're just going to you know, snap their fingers. <laughs> Somebody's going to come out and take care of them. Yeah? Yeah. If they so want it, if they feel empowered enough to make that happen, sure. Man, if that became the rule for even one day, the very next day, no woman would ever snap or make a sharp sound. <laughs> <laughs> <Just like. laughs> There'd be men lurking under every surface. Is like, that a snap? Is that a snap? <laughs> Is she sna- are you snapping? I'm sorry, were you snapping? <laughs> Dude, they'd be like wearing soft bottom shoes. <laughs> like, would be the quietest. Around. That's why Dude, men are rats and women are cats. I'm telling right? you, that's I'm telling this history is cyclical. Remember when women were seen and not heard? Mm-hmm. That shit was by choice. <laughs> <laughs> this happened before Andy. <laughs> <laughs>